Okay, so in this uh, seesaw how-to lesson, I guess you could say, uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of these. Uh, so that was that was my evil laugh. Um, but yeah, hand out sheets. Let's get rid of them. Well, let's get on the on the path to getting rid of them. So you know, getting rid of hand out sheets is going to be a tricky one. A lot of teachers are so used to it. So with seesaw, we can kind of make that first step. Okay, uh, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how. So let's jump in here. So I'm in a stu I'm a student at the moment, um, and sorry, that's Rafferty incredibly excited with yoga. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can basically find ways to make make that kind of concept of a handout sheet. You know, it's, it's still there, but uh, let's make it a little bit more interactive and a little bit more engaging. So as a student, um, you can add any content you want into Seesaw and then comment and reflect upon it uh, if it's in your camera roll. Okay, so just like you take a photo, um, you can do that with the stuff that's in your camera roll. So as a teacher, you can kind of get these handout sheets ready and um, and, let me, and you'll let your students use those to, to answer. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So at the moment, um, they still need to be on the iPad's camera roll. Um, even though a teacher can add content into everyone's journal, uh, students can't comment on that stuff yet. So that's going to be there in a future update. But for now, let me show you what I mean. So there's a few ways you can do it. One, which I think is really great, is if the students are using an app or they're using something and taking screenshots and getting those into into the camera roll and then into Seesaw. So they're, they're using an app and they're, you're doing some great learning and then let's add that into Seesaw and comment on it. So an example I'm going to show you really quickly, which is a great little uh, Atlas app and I'm going to fly around. But let's say we were looking at Australia, okay, and we were talking about Australia and states and territories, and now you want the kids to actually reflect upon that and do some learning, we can do that. So all I'm going to do is take a screenshot, which is a simple home button and power, and now I've got a screenshot of that image, and then we can get the kids to jump into Seesaw, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go back into, into Seesaw here, okay, and I'm going to do a new post, essentially, camera roll, tap on that one that we just took there. So there is the picture of Australia, okay, and now you can see, as a student, I've got those annotation options. So you might say, all right, now I want you to label the states and territories, and so they can grab the pencil, they can pick a colour, okay. They can highlight down here, and they can say Victoria, okay, da 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 da, 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 da. You get the idea, and then they can upload that, and that's ready to go. They pick the student, and then it's in there, so there's that kind of handout sheet saved, essentially, okay. Or the other way, of course, is if the teacher has this work ready to go too. So I'm going to show you another example of how I've been doing it. I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to jump into my blog, so I've kind of got my blog going here as well. Uh, the good thing with using kind of a blog platform is I can have those images in there, but I can also have a bit more context as well. So, you know, I've, I've just got some basic, you know, label of states of Australia, label parts of the human body that you see, practice your A, and here is a pages document that I've quickly typed up um, on, my, on my Mac, and I just want them to highlight, you know, nouns, verbs, and adjectives. So the students can go into my website here, and they can kind of download these handout sheets and then work in Seesaw with them. So let's take this guy here which is going to be an exciting, exciting subject. Um, so I want them to find the verbs, nouns, and adjectives and highlight them. So once I see that image, let's hold that down. And I'm going to save that image. Now I'll just jump back across to Seesaw, okay? And again, as a student, I can go in here, go to my camera roll, because there, and I can add that. And again, you can see that we've got those annotation options there as well. So I could rotate that if I want a bit more room. Um, bring it around here, and I can get my pencil. Pick my colour, you know, highlight the nouns in blue, red, green, okay. So you get the idea as well there, so I'm just going to cancel that one. Or it that way, make it a bit easier for me to use. Get my pencil, highlight, 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 underline, okay. And you've got your sheet ready to go. The student can also do some other things, so I'm going to tap on that. They can also use the audio recorder if they want to and say, oh, this was pretty tricky, this was hard, they can do all that kind of stuff. Submit that, pick old good old George, upload, and we're ready to go. Okay, and again, as the teacher, I will have these. If I have them approved, I can look at them, I might be able to mark George's work, I could uh, use the record tool as well and annotate and say, oh, that's really good work, or you missed this one, or you missed that one. So again, you've got that back and forth feedback, which is really good. So let's jump across to another example really quickly. So we've got that image. Just going to save that image, jump into Seesaw, add an image, practice your letters, so get the red, practice my A, little A, wow, I am a pretty neat handwriter. 
done. Submit. Again, add an audio recording if I want to the student. This was great. This was tricky. I had trouble with. Pick the student. Upload. And again, the teacher can comment on this work, add a little note, favorite it. Mum and dad back home if they're on their uh, students' journals, well, they can do the same thing. And switch across. Let's go back. So you can see how easy this is. So, you know, you uh, as a teacher can own completely in charge of what kind of work that you want these guys to do. Um, click that image. It's just all about having those images uh, in their camera roll. So again, I really like it when you can do it live in the classroom and the kids are working in an app or, you know, you may have these big images on your screen and they can kind of take the photo, come back, annotate, go across. I don't know, I find that the kids really love doing that. They're having that kind of, they're getting up, they're moving around and they're, they're kind of capturing the learning. I think they really have a lot of fun with that as opposed to, you know, here is that image or, you know, have, write on this kind of thing. They, they really enjoy it, but hey, it works. Let's jump back in here. Let's do one more. Camera roll. And I can highlight that stuff. And let's give an eyeball, shall we? Um, but yeah, you get the idea. And away you go. So there's a good step to starting to kind of get rid of those handout sheets eventually. Okay, baby steps. Um, we'll get there. And of course, you know, start thinking of the real world things that are in your classroom, like you know, you're looking at time, uh, you want the kids to kind of study how time works, then you've got a clock in your room, get them to take a picture, highlight the second hands, the hour hands, annotate what time it is, okay? You might quickly draw something on the whiteboard, uh, and a, a problem, uh, and they grab their iPad, they take a photo, and they answer the problem that way, and they can reflect upon it. So, yeah, there we go. Getting there. See you guys.